The best, simplest video on the internet today concerning a three-way switch system is this one. You will learn a lot, especially how it operates internally. With these two switching points, you can definitely activate a light in either a staircase way, a corridor, or a room where you enter through one door and exit on another door and you have to switch off that light without necessarily going back to that door where you came through now we will have these two switches these are referred to as three-way switches and we also have these lighting points you can have one two for my case here or you can even have several if you are already getting value out of our today's video smash that like button and let me know in the comment section what other video you would like me to talk about and i will do it for this lighting system to work, you have to use these switches. These switches are referred to as three-way switches. They have four distinct connections, as we can see. First, we have the ground, we have the common, and we have these gold screws here. We also have a replica of that in the second switch, where we have the common here, as indicated. And then we have these two golden screws. We also have our ground where our ground wire is connected. All right. So for that demonstration that you can see that ground wire, if it were coming all the way to the switching point at this point, I'll definitely have the ground wire screwed at this point. All right. Because this is a demonstration and we are not wiring the switch. We have done another video. Check it out where we have the wiring done properly my top boss you can check it the link on the description this switch therefore which is a single pole cannot be useful in this connection here it has the common and it has the connection screw for the light as well as very important the ground screw it can only cut the supply of current in a circuit all right but for this one it is a multi-purpose. So to make it simple for you to understand, these two screws will be connected with the red wire and the black wire. This is what we have here. They are normally referred to as the travelers. All right. So we'll have the first traveler. This is the black and the red. So we'll have the red connected at this point to this point. And then the black connected to this screw to the other screw here right so that we have the red and the black interconnecting as you can see by this representation at this point and then we'll have the ground wire connected definitely here and you can see that the ground wire is in touch with the entire metallic part of the switch right and then we have the common which is very very important for our case the common for this switch as you can see comes all the way from the feed and gets to the common of this switch right here so it will be connected here so that is the hot wire that is coming to the feed and then the exit the common of this switch is definitely feeding the lights all right so we have to ensure that we indicate that this is actually a hot wire as well all right it is a hot wire feeding current to the lights just a disclaimer this is a demonstration video which is meant for education purposes only do not carry out electrical installations in your country or your region if you are not educated to handle this or licensed please adhere to the national electrical codes before carrying out any electrical work electricity is dangerous can injure or kill from the feed we have the incoming neutral the white connecting these two bulbs together all right or the lighting points and then we have our ground wire under the wiring circumstances you will find that all of those have to come to the switch so that each switch is connected with a ground wire another important thing to note is that at the box where we will have these switches we have a neutral connected inside so this neutral or the white wire 
will come all the way to the switch and also to the other switch and then back to that lighting fixture all right so we are using two lights to showcase that assuming that this is in a staircase or a corridor all right or a long walkway we can have two lights or two lighting points we can even have as many lighting points as possible all that we need to do is to loop from these or to loop from these or we can even have it at this point here as long as these feed or these lines that are passing through are connected to those lines the other function of switching would be taken care of by this three-way switching system that is right here so for us to demonstrate you can see that when i put that on at that switch the bulbs come on and then when i switch it off they go off simply because from the feed or the source which is coming all the way it has to get to that point which is the common and then engage through a traveler and then from this traveler it has to connect to this point here where it will go to the lights but if there is a gap there is no continuity here then it means that the lights will remain off assuming that we want to switch it on at this point it simply means that we have engaged the common from one traveler which is not connected to the other switch to this other traveler so the lights come on again because there is a complete flow of current from the supply all the way to this point the common through one of the travelers goes to the common of the other switch and then travels all the way to the lighting points so you can switch it off at this point by simply turning the switch and then switch it back on at this point by flipping that switch so that is basically what happens internally all right so if i may show by this switch here so this is what is happening if i flip this switch like that it is basically doing this inside meaning it is turning everything off if i want to turn the lights on i simply flip the switch on like that and internally what is happening real fast is that switching that is happening i can also operate independently on this other switch if i turn it off like that it means this is what is happening internally every time that you operate this switch there is motion that is happening if i turn it off or on this common is shifting between these travelers at every time that i am switching or turning these switches on or off there is this happening so if i flip it in any direction it means that this common is either engaging on this traveler or this traveler the same happens here every time that i touch this switch by flipping it up or down it engages automatically on one of the travelers all right so it may engage on the upper part to turn it off or on depending on where this other common is attached to the travelers if you have enjoyed this video you will definitely like a video that i have done a step-by-step -step wiring of this entire system this is the video click it right here thank you so much for your time my name is john gatehi and this is top boss electrical kindly subscribe so that you don't miss any of our interesting upcoming episodes.